AI, particularly generative AI, promises to make developers more productive, to do the heavy lifting of that difficult task of writing code. But I believe that AI has some interesting problems and should have us asking questions about the way that we work. Hi, I'm Trisha G. Welcome to the Continuous Delivery Channel, where we're not afraid to have opinions on technology that's so new that no one should have opinions on them yet. If you like this particular opinion, please click like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. AI, the next big thing in developer productivity. Better than search engines, because you don't have to scroll through all those results. Better than an IDE, because you don't need to type anymore. So what's the problem? My problem is that I believe it's increasing the rift between junior and senior developers. Experienced developers have the context to look at a solution generated by AI and figure out what is it doing? Is it doing the right thing? What trade-offs has it made? Has it taken into account the non-functional requirements that I care about? If the experienced developer is using ChatGPT or some other chat-based AI, it can continue a conversation with the generative AI to say, OK, now please rewrite it with these things in mind. Please use this framework or please consider this design pattern. The senior developer can help mold and shape not only the code, but the AI that's creating that code. Junior developers don't have that kind of context. Junior developers don't understand the answer to the solution. Junior developers probably asked the AI for the answer because they didn't know what the solution looked like or what it should look like. Juniors also generally assume there is a single answer to the problem. And if the code works, that must be the answer. Senior developers know that the answer is, it depends, and hopefully should have an idea of what it depends on. I want to take a second to thank our sponsors, Equal Experts, Transfic, and Semaphore. These are companies that offer products and services that are well aligned to what we talk about on the Continuous Delivery Channel. Please take a look at the links in the description below. But surely, if the code works, if it does what it's supposed to do, who cares if the original author doesn't know why it works or even what it's doing? Why would this be a problem? Well, as we all inevitably know, I hope, Code does not always work. It does not always do what it's supposed to do. So when this code inevitably fails in some way, shape or form, the original code author can't reason around what it was doing, what it should be doing, and why it's not doing what it should be doing. It has always been difficult to troubleshoot code. Someone else's code, our code, whatever. It is a tricky thing to do, junior or senior. But if the code arrives fully formed in the code base as it is, and worse still, if we even generated the test for that code, we have no clue how to go about figuring out what it's doing and why it's doing it. If a junior had come to a solution bit by bit, trial and error, or ideally writing test after test to create a solution that meets the needs, then that junior will at least have a mental model of what it does under certain circumstances. When the code stops working in that way, they have a starting point for how to troubleshoot that code and where to look for problems. If the code was generated by a machine, then the junior has no idea on where to start investigating that code. What if AI means we don't need the juniors anymore? What if we let the AI create the dumb code and let the seniors do the code review and the training of the AI. What then? Let's consider some of the problems that seniors might have working with AI to generate code. Well, firstly, a senior is going to spend a lot more time reading code. We have always read code more than we've written it, even if we didn't realize. We have to read the code to figure out where a new feature fits or how the code is behaving in order to troubleshoot a problem. We've always had to read code. But generally, we didn't have to read code while we were writing it. Generative AI means that we are reading code even when we are writing it. But IDEs have been generating code for years. And generally speaking, when an IDE generates code, that reduces our cognitive load. 
It can create the predictable boilerplate code. We don't have to think about it and we can think about solving the business problem. This is a good thing. How is this different from AI generated code? Generally speaking, an IDE is always creating the same shaped code. It is entirely predictable. However, an AI might be creating a different solution every time you ask it for the same thing. If you ask the AI for a simple Java object with a constructor, getters, hash code, two string and equals, every time you generate that code, you're gonna to have to check it to see if it looks the way that you expect it to look. Is this two string the way that I want it? Or is it subtly different from the way it was generated last time? This means that we are reading and reasoning about code even as we're writing it. But actually, it's not typing code that slows us down. It's the thinking and reasoning about the code that slows us down. So if we're slowing down as we read and reason about the code that's generated, maybe that's not really a problem. We have to think about these problems anyway. What should the code do? How do I test it? Does it meet the non-functional requirements? Is there a different way of doing it? Whether we type the code into the IDE or we accept the suggestions from an AI, we still have to do that. So perhaps it's not having a big impact on the way that we normally work. On top of that, a senior developer should be used to reading and reviewing code, particularly if they have juniors on the team. They should be reviewing code written by the juniors. They should be feeding back on whether it's effective and helping the junior to level up to get better at writing that code and creating solutions for the team. With the AI doing all the junior work, seniors are still reviewing that code and training the AI to write better code. This is the same thing we always did. And we always had plenty of time to mentor and train those junior developers, right? Right? Let's assume for a minute that AI really can replace junior developers. Who then are the senior developers of the future? When we get lucky enough, rich enough, or simply old enough to retire and move on, who is going to replace us, the senior developers, if AI has been doing all of the junior work? Do we believe that AI is ready to make the kind of decisions that senior engineers are currently making? Do we believe that by the time we have no more juniors, AI will have evolved into being a senior developer? Maybe, but I actually believe there's a bigger problem than this pipeline problem. There is something that juniors are very good at. Juniors, in my experience, are very good at asking questions. Why did we do it this way? Why did we pick this pattern over here, whereas in this part of the code base, we did it this way? What are you thinking about when you try and make these decisions? These are the kind of questions that when we answer them, of course, help the juniors to level up. But, and I think this is more important, they make the senior think about, why am I doing it this way? Is it because I've internalized how to solve these kinds of problems and I do it automatically? Or is it that I've just always done it this way and I haven't considered the alternatives? A junior developer can also help seniors to level up. A junior developer helps us to challenge our assumptions and figure out if there's some solution that we haven't considered yet. An AI does not currently ask questions. It doesn't ask, why do you want to do it that way? It doesn't ask, what was wrong with the answer to the last question? It only answers questions very confidently. And anything you tell it, it assumes is correct. And it will do what it's told. It will not challenge you. We need the balance between the human juniors and the human seniors. We need the discussion, the tension between the two to create readable code that does what it's supposed to do. No more and no less. Of course, we can use tools like search engines, like IDEs, like generative AI to get there. But we can't remove the human element, particularly the inexperienced human element. It takes a team to create good applications. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please consider supporting us via Patreon.